Hi everybody, welcome back to Scales of Safety with me, Pete Collins. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the exit interview um, for the scenario-based assessment or commonly known as the open book exam. Um, so what is an exit interview? Our main objective today is just to talk about the exit interview, the process itself, and really how to help you prepare for it. Um, the exit interview for me is a way, and which Nibosh make an important disclaimer really, to state that We've got to remember that we're not, if we're conducting these interviews and we're learning of how to conduct them, we're not actually grading the answer of the learner. It's about whether we feel or not the learner knows their assignment and whether they feel that the answer that has been given to you is actually one of a credible nature from their work. Um, and it's one that actually would link in um, and you really, I'll be honest with you, we're just looking to see if it is the learner's own work. So, you know, it's our job to make sure that we don't grade their response, but ultimately we decide whether we agree with the learner's answers. Um, and it's that their own work. And, and that's in summarisation what we're trying to achieve when we do exit interviews for the scenario based assessments and the open book exam. Same thing. They've just changed it recently to SBA. Um, so... Do we have to keep a record? Yes, when we do them, we do keep a record. And to take you through a little bit about some of the insights of what the, the documents are, I'm not going to share the documents with you, but to give you an insight around what is required. Now, Nibosh do have their own information on an exit interview as well. You can find that in the guidance as well. Um, but we'll ask you, you know, by this point as well, we'll ask you your learner name. We'll ask you your learner number. Sometimes as a learning provider, we have a learning number already. Um, we'll ask you your date of birth, and then we'll also just talk a bit about the, the date of the OB. Now, we have to log things like the time of the closing interview. Um, again, we have to introduce ourselves as the uh, exit interviewer. We would then explain the structure of the interview to you, um, typically around sort of what we're trying to do. And by this point, it could be quite nervous for learners. So I tend to put them at ease, you know, ask them how they got on with the OBE, how they found it on the day. Um, and really just putting them at ease. And, and I use a bit of a, a disclaimer, say, look, you know, there isn't a right or wrong answer for the stuff that you give us today. Um, we're just looking to see if it was actually a good, um, or the answer was actually one of credible nature that you give us. So there's no right or wrong answers. Just tell us how you feel is what I tend to tell learners, really. Um, so from that as well, we'll have to ask you a form of identification. So this can be a passport, driver's license, or a national insurance number or card as well. Uh, a lot of the time when I do these exit interviews, we tend to find people show their driver's license and passports. Um, we have to then log if we feel that was satisfactory. We have to make sure again that there is nobody with you in the room and that I'm satisfied that you're on the room uh, on your own. Tend to just, they just give us a bit of a flash of the room. Um, and then ultimately, we, we're then going to go into just give you the insight that you know, no unauthorised resources can be used for the, the nature of the interview. So um, learners will have a copy of their OBE with them that they submitted to Nibosh. I will have a copy of mine as well, um, uh, of theirs as well. Um, and on that note, 